Gastropub, so new American cuisine. It's a wide range. I mean, honestly, now America is such a melting pot of different cultures and people that new American cuisine is really just a blend of everything. And that's kind of what I stick with. I don't try to set parameters for myself or, you know, you know put myself in a box as far as food goes. Driving by Tila uh, before they opened and saw the sign and knew, I mean, I knew Tila was a fish song. So I was very interested. And I went ahead and uh, put in my application, the cover letter, and all that. And uh, I got that call from Doug. Came on in, and it's kind of been history since then. Going from my co sous chef and chef, and uh, now being the only chef here for over a year now, it's, it's very rewarding. Doug and Ella have worked in the industry a long time together. They have been good friends. Even back then, they had talked about you know eventually owning their own place and you know wanting to do something like Tilo, like the, you know the, the, to bring these to bring these fans together to have a little uh, community of their own. Um, and I, I guess eventually the time came and they pulled the trigger and they they found this uh, found this space and just kind of worked with it. Um, I mean, I remember walking in for my first interview, and I was really impressed. I, was, I realized that was something I wanted to be a part of. I remember after the uh, first chef uh, uh, quit, and uh, Doug, Doug approached me and, and told me the situation. And, and literally, all I said to him was, I'm all in. And I've been that way since then. Um, I've been all in. Um, I've been a lot of time. Um, I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of my patience. Uh, Tatila, being a younger cook, and uh, after going to culinary school, I was just waiting for that opportunity to, to get to this position now. And uh, I'm, I'm eternally grateful to Doug and Eller for giving me that chance. When I was younger, uh, in high school, my mom worked a lot. Uh, my parents were divorced at that time, and uh, I really enjoyed just being able to cook her dinner. And it was nothing special. I mean, it'd be like whatever chicken breast and I don't know, probably rice or or something. But my my effort at learning made her really happy, even if it was good or bad. I mean, the effort that I put in, I mean, as uh, it kind of showed me that you know maybe this is something I'd like to do. I really, I've always enjoyed hands-on things, doing things hands-on, and. Uh, Again, I mean, being creative as well. Um, I was never really a great artist, but once I really got involved with cooking, I realized, you know, I just had to find my medium, and I think that's what it is. Food is my medium as an artist. That, that's how I see it. I think that's how maybe a lot of other chefs see it. And then once I got to a point where I gave cooking that respect that, you know, it's gotten me to a point in my life where I can take care of myself, and at this time, you know, take care of my whole family, um, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. She was located in Miami, Ohio, and I uh, graduated from Miami High School back in 2004. So I've known this area for a while, I've been attached to it, um, and I know the community. Obviously, with our, our restaurant being named after a fish song, we definitely attract that type of crowd. We attract, uh, you know, fans, deadheads, things like that. You, you meet these people at concerts and things like that, and it's definitely an eclectic group of people. And it's, uh, it's cool to be able to bring all those type of personalities to one place. I, I source the best ingredients I can for each menu I write. Um, while sourcing the best ingredients, I try to keep them local to support local businesses and build up the communities around me. I feel kind of that's a responsibility now. Um, I think you need to support your community and the other, you know, the people and businesses around you. We, we source their products not only because they're local, because honestly, they're, they're, they are superior, they're better. Um, and it's nice to have that, again, community feel, because that's kind of what, you know, my mind is all about. It's a small community. We want to bring that into the building as well. Um, and part of that is, you know, the fish and the great that community. When I'm writing menus, I mean, for me, really, it's all about seasonality. It's all about getting uh, seasonal ingredients because they're they're going to be the best. They're going to be the most flavorful. They're going to be the best thing I can offer the guests. So when I'm thinking of menus, it's, it's not necessarily a specific dish I'm going to make. Um, it's more of I'm looking at ingredients and I kind of build dishes off those ingredients. I think our, our food shows that there's so much information out there. There's so many different dishes. There's so much food. There's so many ingredients, and it's it's fun to explore and uh, create new things. You know, especially to create things people enjoy, put a smile on people's faces. And I think as well as just our food menu, we offer an amazing uh, wine selection, an amazing beer selection, both done by Devin Miller, respectively. And uh, I, I, after doing this a couple years here, you. you a rapport with your guests and you kind of know what they expect from you and uh, you just want to meet that you want to meet that expectation every time there's, there's no way i'd be able to get the job i have without a team i mean it's it's, it's nearly impossible but when you have a, a, a good team around you and you train them well and um, you all believe in, in a common goal it, it makes life so much easier not just on myself but on the team as well so uh, i've had a lot of uh, i've had a lot of things to be happy about for sure